Hello YouTubers, this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music, and this will be a tutorial on the new metronome in Cubase 9.5 and how to use it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to Transport, and then we'll come down to Metronome Setup. I've set a shortcut key to F13. Now, if we go to Click Sounds, one of the new things is we have these default sounds, and here's the list. So if I select, so if I select clave and play it, that gives us an idea what it sounds like. <clears throat> here's cl clave B. Firm wood. Now the thing I'm excited about is we have a simulated Yuri click. So, and that's called Vintage Spike. And the reason why that's so important is because in any recording studio, the musicians are always used to the Uri Click and they prefer the Uri Click because they know exactly what kind of click to expect. Now, the other thing that we have, well, let's first of all, okay, the metronome click is activated and the shortcut key for that is C. Let's go to click patterns. So we notice we have a 2 2, time signature 3 2, 1 4, 2 4, 3 4, and so on. We have 5 4, 6 4, 7 4, 5 8, 7 8, 12 8. So a lot of common key signatures, and you can create your own. You can add a new signature right here. But for the purposes of this video, we'll just see how to uh, apply these various time signatures. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is add a signature track. And of course, it defaults to 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so if I click, well, actually, notice up here we have a click pattern. Now, if I go back to the beginning and just start the metronome, we're playing the default pattern. Now, suppose I go back to the beginning, click on this click pattern, and notice it's set to default. Now, if I click on that, I can do a half tempo click pattern. I can also do double tempo. And actually there, you see it displayed what it's going to do. It's going to give you eight clicks to one measure. And so that's how we can select from the different patterns. And here's a 6-8, so it's going to basically give you 6-8 in one measure. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So it's giving you a three pattern every two bars, or every two beats. Now going back to the transport metronome setup and click patterns, if we go back to the 4-4, which we were just in, because that's the key signature that Cubase is defaulting to, we have a visual of the click patterns here as well. And there's the uh, double tempo, the half tempo, and the as 6-8. Now, if I want to hear what these other patterns sound like, what I do is let's go to measure one and say we want to create, we want to see what the 5 4 pattern sounds like. So I'll go to my draw tool and just type in 5 slash 4. 
And so what's going to happen is at measure one, go back to my object selection, I'm going to get the default pattern. Or actually, it's right now it's the user pattern. So if I go default pattern and then I start my And you can see a visual of it up here and also a little visual down here. Okay. And if I go back to the patterns that we have available, actually, if you click on here, there's a three plus two. Now, suppose I want to see what the three plus two also sounds like. Suppose, so I'll go to measure two, and then I will go ahead and type in 5.4 again. Five slash four. And go back to my pointer. So now I'm at measure two and let's go ahead and do the three plus two. So here we're at measure one. So measure one, we have a three plus two. Let's change it to two plus three. And then at measure two, it's three plus two. You can tell one, two, three, one, two. And here it's two, two plus three. So you can actually invoke different patterns by creating a new time signature in whatever measure you want it. So, so now at measure one, we're going to have a two plus three. And there we have the three plus two. So the other thing that we can do if we go to metronome setup, we can create our own patterns. So maybe I'm doing 5-4 and I want to add a new pattern. So I click this plus sign over here and we come up with an untitled pattern. So double clicking, let's call this one um, 6 plus 4. And the reason I'm going to do that is I'm going to, I don't have to have five beats per measure. I can subdivide the beats. So let's go ahead and type in 10 here. Okay, so now what we have is one followed by nine clicks in a measure. And if I click on it, I can adjust it. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So what I can do by clicking up here and sort of clicking here on this grid and going down, I can actually have, I can turn a click off or I can select one of these values here going down. So one, two, three, four. There are actually five different values, one being off. And suppose I put that there. So there's a pattern I just created. Okay. And then if I want to see what that sounds like, I can, let's say, go to measure two, click on the pattern and say, there's a six plus four. So going to measure two, it's going to sound a little strange. So here we have the regular, the five, four at measure one and the two plus three. And then it's going to go into the measure two with the basically each beat subdivided. So let's listen to it at measure one from measure one.
So that's really all you need to know in order to create your own patterns. You just have to make sure that the time signature is available for the pattern that you want to access. So this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music. If you found this video informative, then please click like. And if you would like to subscribe to additional videos as soon as they become available, then uh, please subscribe. And this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music signing off.